Red into Max Strong. Stoney Mitchell. Red Sun. Charles Nelson Wright. Deborah Lee Scott. Richard Dawson. And Joyce Beautiful. As we play the star studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Rager. What happened, John? I guess the other microphone is busted, huh? Yes. Okay. Now, well, that's the best we can do. It feels strange. Yeah, that's a beautiful microphone, but a very sensitive one. And yesterday, when you went like that, I think you broke that one. I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's more befitting you. Yes, thank you. Are you re quite ready to begin? Yes, Doc. Are you going to be gay, witty, amusing, and charming? I am. I don't know about the rest of this group. <laughs> uh, let's say hello to Mary Manny. Hello, Mary. How are you? Now, you picked up a little money last time we were together. You now have $350. Is that right? Four. No. Four How much? Fifty. Four fifty. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to subtract a hundred from you. Are you ready to carry on? Yes. All right. We're going to start with the audience match. She'll have another go at the over $5,000. We'll see if she gets it right after this. No. Now, Mary, you've won the $450. And we're going to see how you do now with the uh, big money super match here. So, uh, shall we swing the thing around here? And you want to push the button? And Well, let's do it this way. Yeah, that's it. Oh. How's that? Uh, thank you very much. Well, now, oh. isn't that clever, the way they yeah. push that around? You know, the, no, we got... These little pygmies inside there running around there. <laughs> All right, that's enough of pygmies. Oh, I'm sorry. We got big pygmies in there running around is what we got. You know what a pygmy is? No, what's a pygmy? It's a compact spook. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mary, we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Bug blank. Now, the answer oh. that group of people gave most frequently is worth $500 to you if you match it. If you match the answer they came up with second most frequently, you get $250, and the third gets you $100. And three of our celebrities are permitted to assist by suggesting answers. Richard? Richard. Bug killer. Bug killer. Yeah. Uh, Scoey? Scoey? Bug me. Bug me. Don't bug me. All right. And um, Charles. We have so far bug me and bug killer. Yes. We have that up here, Joyce. You don't have to hold anything up. We we've covered every every corner. You need help up there. <laughs> Charles. I'm torn between this and this, aren't you, sweetheart? Oh, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go bugaloos. What? <laughs> let's not go bugaloo. <laughs> let's go bugaboo. <laughs> If you're gonna you don't it. bug me! <laughs> We've got that one already. Bugaloo, is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. Bugaloo, it's a popular dance. We're all gonna do the dance afterwards. It's the boobaloo. Oh, it's the boogaloo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you like to change your mind, Charles? No, okay. The boogaloo, the bug killer, and the boog me. There. So there we, those are the three we've got. That's fine. What do you want? You want one of those? You may have a better answer. You can go with your own ID if you like. Um, bug spray. Bug spray. Okay. All right. Bug spray is what she says is going to be up there under the big one. But we'll get, begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Bugs Bunny. All right. There's one. We are looking for bug spray. May we see the $250 number? Bug spray. You got it. Congratulations. Very good. Very good. Yes. I know what the $500 one is. What is a $500 one? Bug, Bug off. off. Yeah. Bug off. Bugalo. Apparently, the audience agrees Bugalo. with you, too. So let's Bugalo. find out if Boog off is up there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, Mary, you're going to play for 10 times $250 or $2,500. And you've got to rematch one of them exactly. Remember to collect it. Richard? Richard, it is again. And you'll face me. 
And here we go. Let's see if she collects it this time. She missed it last time. Get your ESP. We've Are you thinking? Get it now from Mary. You thinking about Richard? Right now, yes. everybody can't. Are you really thinking about Richard? Sure. <laughs> I think you're thinking about Scoey there. <laughs> Ever since he kissed you. Yeah. Get the money, I'm, I'm Mom. Thinking about <laughs> Here we go. Blank coffee. C O F F E E. Blank coffee. Mm. All right, Richard's finished. Now, Mary, what answer would you give us which you think will match his? Hot. Hot coffee. All right, Richard. Hot coffee is what she says will match you. What do you say? Oh, Mary, instant coffee. Instant coffee. Is that what you were thinking of, instant coffee? I guess they were thinking of it, too. What was, your, what was yours? Black coffee. That's opposed to white coffee, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah, listen, Mary. To any other kind of coffee? You, <laughs> you got seven hundred dollars, and let's meet your new player here, Jackie Pierce. Hello, Jackie. Yeah. You want to get back up there? Now, right, Jackie, we welcome you. Ask you, Hi. you know, Mary. We'll find out who you are and where you're from and all that. We know you're Jackie Pierce. What yes. else you want to tell us about yourself? I'm a homemaker and <laughs> and a mother of a three and a half year old little boy named Scotty. And I work three days a week as a teller. As a teller? A bank teller, yeah. Yeah. Why are you laughing before you said you... <laughs> because I almost said I was a part-time mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no... Uh, if no, 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 no. kind of mother to Either you're a mother or you're not a right. mother. Right. <laughs> you can't be a little bit pregnant, can you? <laughs> no. You, either you are or you aren't. Right. Exactly. Okay, Jackie, good luck to you. We'll start this Thank game you. right after we do a little business with America. And this is it. Here we go. Are you ready? Boing! A or B, Jackie Pierce? B, please. B it is. Everybody plays. Here we go. When Dumb Donald went to the delicatessen, they said they were out of cold cuts. So instead, Dumb Donald asked for a blank cut. <laughs> too loud over there. You guys are talking too loud over here off stage. You hear every word you say. You're breaking my concentration. It's a very intellectual show we're doing here. Don't you got an answer no, yet? No, no, come on, give me a chance. What, what is they it? They said they when didn't Dumb, Dumb Donald, Donald went to the delicatessen. They said they were on a cold cut, so instead, Dumb Donald asked for a blank cut. Oh, a blank cut. Oh, wait a minute. I, a, we're a, out of cold a, cuts. Right, oh. We're out of cold cuts. He's okay. Well, give me a blank cut. Give me a blank cut. Yeah. Give me a reservation at oh, the Encino. Right. You're in room 211. I'll be there. In about 20 minutes. Thanks a lot. Ah. I'm not there. <laughs> Be careful, man. <laughs> Here we go. Jackie Pierce. When Dumb Donald went to the delicatessen, they said they were out of cold cut, so instead, Dumb Donald asked for a blank cut. Prime? Prime a prime cut? cut. No. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. your son loves you. <laughs> I hope <think> so. Because <laughs> you have beautiful hochi charnia. But that's a rotten answer. <laughs> Hello, Scoey. Hey, baby. What do you say? Oh, I tell you, but I hate to cry, Gene. You hate to cry? Oh, it's rough. Man, I just went the opposite way. Asked for a hot, hot, hot cut. Got a cold cut to ask for a hot cut. Oh, I thought that was a mundane answer. Oh, I thought it was a peachy answer. No, it's very mundane. What have you got? I said, I thought you had to go with something that's a little more pizzazz, a little more panache. I said, an open cut. <laughs> that's worse than hers. Yeah, that's, that's the rumor around? That's that? right. <laughs> it's got a lot of pizzazz. <laughs> Charles? I've got a razor if you want to act out your answer. <laughs> Deborah, did you... I put the peachy answer, hot. The hot cut. Good answer. Isn't it a good answer, Jackie? Aren't you I sure you didn't say it there? Mm -hmm, I, did you think of it? I did. And you rejected it? Well, I thought of it after I thought of prime. Oh, I see. What do you say, Richard? He's dumb, isn't he, this fella? Dumb Donald, very dumb. Sure. Hey, we're out yeah. of cold cuts, so I'll take a hot cut. Uh, in that case, I wonder if you could give me a short cut. A short cut? <laughs> okay, that's really dumb, isn't it? Boy, Speaking of dumb... No, yeah. I oh, did okay. You did okay? Sort of. 
A hot cut. A hot cut. No, they, that's a good answer, that Joyce. You're okay. Okay, now we come to your first round question, Mary. It reads as follows. Judy said to the psychiatrist, I have a problem with my husband. You know how some men chase women? Well, my husband chases blanks. <laughs> Oh, whatever the word, uh, you know, it, it, it's... Sure. We know. Oh, uh, okay, uh, I'm not so gonna say any more than that. Answers. Yeah, there's some good choices here. Oh, everybody finished very quickly there, so we come right back to Mary. Judy said to the psychiatrist, I have a problem with my husband. She says, you know how some men chase women? Well, my husband chases blanks. Cars. Cars. That's a good one. There are a number of good answers here, and she came up with one of the good ones. And I no doubt suspect you may have a good one, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you do for a change. <laughs> Terrific story. Bring your smile. Sm uh, show your teeth when you smile. You have beautiful teeth. No teeth. Yes, show some teeth there. No teeth. Come on, show some that's teeth. Extra. Oh, that's extra for you. Shows his teeth. All right, Brett. I know you're not going to believe this, but you know how I always draw on my own personal life? Yes. For my answers. And so I started to say... Of course, because I remembered uh, how Jack used to run down uh, Pacific Coast Highway after a Cadillac. <laughs> but I just went crazy. I thought, you know, I've got to get away from myself. And I, so I said, boys. Chases boys. <laughs> My husband chases boys. What'd you say, Chuck? I chose sailors, Jim. Sailors. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Debbie. Well, how are you? Good. I how put are you? dogs. Chasing dogs. That's another good possibility. All kinds of good chances here. Judy said psychiatrists have a problem with my husband. Some men chase women. Well, my husband chases blanks. And she said cars. You're so cute. That's what I said. No! Oh. Oh. Two for Mary. Joyce? I did a good thing. What? I said cars. Oh, that's three for Mary. Yeah, here we go to round two. Are you ready for round two? Jackie, you may have a choice of A or B. I'll try B again, please. B again. All right. Gloria said, I'll never go back to Australia because while I was there, an ostrich buried his head in my blank. <laughs> Therefore, I shall never return to Australia because an, an ostrich buried his head in my blank. Now, that's taken care of. <laughs> 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 hey. yeah. <laughs> Some things you just do. Okay. You know what I mean, dear? Brian. Buried his head in my... Don't think too hard. You're going to strain it. An ostrich buried his head in my... <laughs> that's good. Okay. Like that that's okay. Just Better put it down the, the counter. Other. Anything. Let me just say, no, no, no. That's splendid. Yes? Yes, good. Indeed. Oh, good. Admire creative thought on this program. Charles, are you ready? We. Oui. Okay, Jack. Gloria said, I'll never go back to Australia again. Because while I was there, an ostrich buried his head in my. <laughs> You're going to love this. I'm going to love this? Yeah. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. <laughs> Naval. In my navel. Navel? Is that good? <laughs> yes, I do like that. <laughs> Tickles a little, but I don't mind it one bit. Okay. I bet I got close to her answer. What'd you say? I said lap. Buried his head in my lap. That's no. Well, where the devil is your navel if not in your lap? No, it's a little above your lap. Just a minute. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to show America where your navel is because what? Lap? El Lapo. El Lapo there. All right, well, so when far. When your little two... child puts his little head in your lap, he puts it, your, he, he's got his little head on your little belly button. Yeah. This was an no, ostrich. No, no it's an child. ostrich. Charles, oh. what do you say? There should be a nurse. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> Luggage. Buried his head in my luggage. And for him, too. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific answer, Charles. <laughs> Jackie, you've got to match the remaining celebrities to stay in the game. 
And Debbie, we come Her to you. Her name is Gloria. Well, Gloria was very. An ostrich buried his head in my. I don't know why she wouldn't go back. Stand on the adhesive tape. While we say goodbye to Jackie Pierce. It was a pleasure to meet you, my dear. Thank you. It was Some nice gifts will here. be coming your way. Thank you. A 97-year supply of, oh, I don't know, whatever okay. you need. Jackie Pierce, okay. there she Thank goes. You. While we're spinning her off, we'll spin a few messages just for you. Hello there. Hello. Don't we make a lovely couple? What was that? Did you see that masked man who ran in front of us? That was no mask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go again, Mary. You're up to $800. This is your third shot at the big money. We pulled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Gun blank. Ah. The answer they gave most often is worth $500. You have to match that, though. <laughs> you match the middle one, as you have a proclivity to do, and you get $250. Bottom one gets you $100. Whom do you call on? Richard. Richard. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Okay, uh, Scoey. Scoey. Gun control. Gun control. Oh, I... Brett. Brett, have you got one? Gun smoke. Gun smoke. <laughs> gun smoke. <laughs> you want gun smoke? Yes. <laughs> she made up her mind very quickly about that, and audience, I think you influenced her with your loud yay. I'm willing to bet it's not gun smoke. You willing to bet it's not gun smoke? What do you think it's going to be? Gun control. I'll make a little oh. side bet of 28 cents that you are wrong, Scoey. We're going to find gun smoke up there somewhere. May we see the $100 number? Gunshot. All right, we want gun smoke. Here is the $250 response. Gun control is up there. And the big one will now be revealed. Smoke it is. Congratulations. I'll take Brett's hug, right? <laughs> he said... No. I'll take Brett's hug. <laughs> he and said three times, I'll take I'll Brett's take hug. Brett's hug and she says, no, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a good kisser, is he? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. Well, don't you go I'll up there kiss and kiss him? No. <laughs> Brett, you don't want to kiss him. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, I need to spray. Listen, you're up to $1,300. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to play for 10 times the 500 you just won now, or $5,000. Remember, you have to match one of them exactly to collect. Okay, Brett. Brett. Ah! You're oh. ready. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Think Brett Summers now. ESP, <laughs> electricity between you and Brett. Here it is. Ready? Goes like this. Blank glasses. G-L-A-S-S-E-S. -S -S. Blank glasses. All right. Uh, uh, uh. All right. She had a little trouble making up her mind there. Have you been thinking about it? All right. What answer do you think will match Brett's? Eyeglasses? Eyeglasses. I tell you, I've been standing here, Mary, and thinking, if I were playing, if I were in your spot, would I say eyeglasses or would I say something else? And I really couldn't... Before you show, because I don't know what Brett's written, just know that you didn't miss with me, because that's I wrote sunglasses. You wrote sunglasses. Yeah, so I wouldn't have matched You her. wouldn't have matched her. As much as I love her, so yeah. let's, we'll see All what right, happens. Brett. Just remember, you would have matched with me. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... He writes them afterwards. I'm going to kill myself because I wrote eyeglasses and I thought she doesn't wear glasses and people who don't wear glasses always think in terms of sunglasses. Sunglasses. Like, oh, terrible. Oh, well, I think of eyeglasses Mary, I wear you keep them. trying here. You're up to $1,300. It was a real toss-up between sunglasses and eyeglasses. It was a hard one. Now you're going to meet another player. Now let's welcome Janet Spilleri. Okay, as soon as it stops, Mary, you two ladies know each other. 
And we welcome Janet Spilleri. Is that the way you say your name? Spilleri, yes. Where are you from, Janet and all that? Simi Valley. Simi Valley? Yeah. Yeah. That's north of here, is it? Uh, oh, I don't know my directions. I think it's Where is Simi? Is Simi Valley north of here? Earthquake capital of the world. Oh, is that where that That's is? where the big yeah. quake was. That's north, uh, <laughs> east of here. Yeah, northeast of it's here. It's nice there. Well, you better move there. <laughs> What else you want to tell us about Janet's family? Well, I'm married and I have two daughters. Yeah. My older daughter's four, and her name is Marcy. And my younger daughter, my little Christmas present last year is Valerie. She's eight months old. Christmas present? Uh huh. They Christmas found morning. her right under the tree here. <laughs> it wasn't quite that easy. Oh, oh. All right, all right Janet. <laughs> it's easy for me. It's difficult for you. It's easy for me. Good luck to you. We'll start this game uh, after, I don't know, I'm all mixed up here. Let's uh, watch this message here. No time here. Gene Rayburn, join us next time for Match Game 76. Goodbye! <laughs>